Dynamics 365 Remote Assist is a powerful tool that helps people collaborate with mixed reality to troubleshoot and resolve issues quicker. Let's take a look at setting up a free trial for you and your team to begin making Remote Assist calls. From your mobile phone or HoloLens headset, go to the device's app store and search for Dynamics 365 Remote Assist. Then begin downloading the application. There are two options for free trials. You can set up one for yourself or one for your entire team up to 25 people. Let's start with the individual license. First, create a Microsoft account, such as an Outlook email. If you already have one, simply skip this step. With your Microsoft account credentials, go to the Remote Assist app that you just downloaded and sign in. A trial of Remote Assist requires a Teams license. The system will recognize if your account has one associated. If not, you will be prompted to sign up. Sign into Teams with your Microsoft account to get a free Teams license. Then head back to the Remote Assist app and sign in. You should be able to successfully sign in within a few minutes, but sometimes it can take longer to recognize the free Teams license. We are almost ready to make mixed reality calls with Remote Assist. However, a call requires at least two people, so next we will create another user. Let's create a remote collaborator user who will help provide guidance via Teams. Head over to Azure Active Directory and enable a premium trial. Sign in with your Microsoft account that you used to sign into the Remote Assist app. Then go to Azure Active Directory and then Users. You will see your user listed there. Create a new user who will be your remote collaborator. Enter a name, a username, and create a password. The remote collaborator only needs a Teams license. In a new web browser, sign up for a free Teams trial. Log into Teams with the remote collaborator user you just created. Back in Azure Active Directory, you will see your new user has a Teams trial. Now that we have two users with free trials, we can make our first Remote Assist call. From Remote Assist on your mobile device or HoloLens, search for your Remote Collaborator user by name or email. Then choose Launch Call. Because you are signed into Teams with the Remote Collaborator user, he or she will receive the incoming Remote Assist call. Keep in mind this trial will be valid for 90 days. Next, let's take a look at setting up a Remote Assist trial for your team, up to 25 people. Log into your Microsoft 365 account as an administrator. This is where you manage your Office and Dynamics users. If you don't have a Microsoft 365 account, Let's set up a Dynamics 365 trial that includes access. Go to trials.dynamics.com and set up a field service trial as just one example. Create a username and password, prove your identity, and assign a name to your trial. Then create a new Dynamics environment, choose your region, and enable Dynamics 365 apps. Finally, choose the menu icon and then Admin. This will take you to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. From the Admin Center, remove the new Admin Center toggle. Then go to Billing in the left, then Purchase Services. Search and find Dynamics 365 Remote Assist. Hover over it and choose Start a Free Trial. If you cannot find Remote Assist, or you cannot go to the old admin center, simply go to the offer link displayed. The trial is for 25 users. Select Try Now. 
Now that we have 25 trial licenses, let's assign them to users. Head to Users, then Active Users. Select your user, then Licenses and Apps. Assign a Dynamics 365 Remote Assist license. This user will represent our frontline worker who troubleshoots issues on site. Below you will see that the license grants access to Remote Assist and Teams. Make sure to save your changes. Beyond the frontline worker who uses Remote Assist, a Remote Assist call requires a remote collaborator who uses Teams. Go ahead and create another user. Assign a name, username, and password. This user only needs a Teams license, and because Remote Assist includes Teams access, we will assign this user one of our Remote Assist licenses. Alternatively, you can assign this user just a Teams license if you have it, or sign up for a free Teams license as shown previously. Continue to add new users like this for the rest of your team members. Remember, Remote Assist users can call other Remote Assist users, creating a scenario where frontline workers can provide guidance to each other. We are now ready to make a Remote Assist call. Open the Remote Assist app and sign in with the user who has the Remote Assist license. This person represents the frontline worker who troubleshoots issues. After signing in, enable the Dynamics 365 integration. Then in Teams, sign in with the other user that represents the remote collaborator who has access to Teams. This person is often at an office or a different location. Then in the Remote Assist app, search for the remote collaborator's name or email, and then choose Launch a Call.